I just get us called the sum of odd numbers. We are given a triangle of consecutive odd numbers and we have to create a function that takes only n as an input. And what do we have to do? Well, we have to calculate the sum of the numbers in the nth row in this triangle, starting at index one. How to go about that? Well, I already went ahead and drawn out this triangle and pre-calculated the sum of odd integers for every layer, as I like to call it. So let us start to iterate through the layers. And we can do it as follows for a layer in the range of n, the argument. But we have to start at index one, as we have seen. And we have to iterate through five layers. So let's print the layers. There we have four of them. So we should add up one here. Yeah. Layer one, two, three, four, five. And what I did was multiplying the layer by the layer to find kind of a pattern. There are sort of following. As you can see, the first layer matches. That should be one. The second layer, four, fits two times in eight. Nine fits three times in 27. 16 fits four times in 64. And 25 fits five times in 125. What's going on here? Well, it has to do with squaring. We have to square the layer by itself. And squaring means multiply a integer by itself. Let's do that. And as you can see, after squaring, you get the sum of all the integers for every layer. Um, so what we can do is to actually store this to a empty list. Sum of all integers. And then append the values to that. And then we can return the list. But obviously we only have to return 125. So what we can do is to just return the max value with the built-in function max. And that should do the trick. Let's try 41. Yeah, that returns the right value. So yeah, we can try this out. And there we go. I hope this has been useful and helpful. Please consider dropping a like if it has been, and hope to see you in another video. Ciao.